Hi, I'm T. Coops, but you already knew that. Tonight, we're going on an adventure. Not in any physical realm, but inside of your very mind. I'm already in there. It's too late. Let's see what I find. How's the sound, guys? Sound all right? Can you hear me? Can you hear the game? Yo, Nish is in here? What's up? Ari's in here too? Oh my god, what a night. What a night. Ugh. No. Wait, my mic's muted? Oh, you... <laughs> oh my god. Tell Nico I say hi. Uh, I think I'm gonna go easy because, you know, I'm a chill gamer. I'm not here to, like, win trophies or break barriers. Like, let's just have a good, fun time scanning some mines. Right. Greetings, citizen. As you are well aware, your daughter is now in the care of the structure. She's been placed in quarantine at the Zignoka Institute as she has shown signs of a highly contagious mental illness. Details of her condition are classified, but we assure you that she is in good hands. For normality and the mind, the structure. So they took my daughter, and if mental illnesses are contagious, they need to shut Discord down right now. I'm telling you. Let's see. The structure. Request you visit your daughter. Denied. My daughter's dead. I'm calling it right now. To access the Zignoka Institute, you must be a mind scanner with a level 3 citizenship. We understand your concern, but there is no need to worry. For your inconvenience, your daily maintenance is reduced by 2 kapak. The structure. I don't trust these guys. Yeah, you gotta have it on easy for this, right? Congratulations, you have been accepted to the Mind Scanners program. Enclosed is the needed equipment for the job. This includes a radio phone through which you will receive further instructions. The construct The constructor thanks you for your service, for normality in the mind. And structure. I see. So I gotta I gotta become a level three or a tier three citizen. And then I can see my daughter again. Just like in real life. Greetings, mind scanner. Your duty is to diagnose and treat the anonymous, the in, yep, those that word, of the structure. Okay. For each completed treatment, you will receive 15 to pop. Ah, oh, dude. My maintenance is was just reduced by two kapok, and I'm now I'm getting paid 15 kapok per treatment. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be a millionaire by the end of day one, guys. Easy. <laughs> Dude, yeah, quit now. Take the punishment. Get on in here. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'll be ex exiled from the structure and thrown into the outer zone. Okay. This map of the structure shows citizens who have shown signs of strange behavior. Look, a citizen is in need of attention. Go pay him a visit. Rutger Hoof. Rutger is a true nature enthusiast. He knows every tree in the structure and is the chief conservator of Triangle Park. Lately, has become more connected with nature. In fact, he believes he is an oak tree. We've all been there. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna go to him. We're gonna help Ruth Gerhuth. Swoosh. Swoosh. The citizen has already been scanned. His insanity amount and insanity types are displayed here. Okay, and he has three. Okay, so he has three insanity types, and his insanity is three. That's not good, I think. Start treatment and remove his insanity before. We're gonna straight up. We're just removing the sanity or the insanity. Nice. All right, all right, all right. So we've already. I'm so confused. What do I do? 
we'll do this. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what we're supposed to do? Yeah, okay. And then we... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're just gonna... We're helping him. Look how happy he looks. Dude, he's loving it. We're helping him. We're a doctor. We gotta get our doctor glasses on. Let's see how the patient's doing. Treatment complete, plus 15k. It's not about the money, it's about helping patients. I'm not an oak tree. No, that's sort of silly, isn't it? I guess I spent too much time with vegetation. I better go visit my friends again. Thank you. Thank you so much. I did it. I did it. I'm the greatest psychotherapist um, in the structure, I think, actually. I'll be a level 3 citizen in no time. Real quick, we're just gonna... the hat on. This is what a doctor looks like. Alright, we did it. Alright, let's go. Easy gains, easy gains. Um, stop threatening to kiss each other and just do it. Don't threaten to do it. Just kiss each other. Uh, I did become a great doctor. The best doctor. I wish I had a switch, Lizzy. Good job, Mind Scanner. As Mind Scanning is fairly new, the technology is still being tested. But rest assured, our methods are highly effective. Can't wait to mind scan, my friends. No more citizens require your attention today. Get some rest and continue tomorrow. We did it, y'all. That's exactly why I blow out the hat. Look, you put on one hat with a deadly spider in it, you're done. You blow in that hat every time. The man who blows into his hat is a fool every day but one when there's an actual spider in there. Maintenance is six? God, sheesh, the economy's in shambles. Nish and Ari, I love both of you immensely. Your daughter is trapped in a room. You try to unlock the room, but the key breaks. She screams. That's not good. Guys, I'm worried about my daughter. Three citizens require my attention. Choose a citizen and perform a mind scan to unravel their insanity. Remember, you take full responsibility for their diagnosis. <laughs> Wall speaker phone mouth. I've never taken responsibility for anything in my life. And I'm not going to start in this video game. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, so, oh, we got time. Okay, so over here, behind my beautiful, beautiful face is the travel time. Hold on, let me, uh, let me, uh, let me, let me move my face around so you guys can see. All right, we're gonna edit. There we go. All right. Better? You guys? Okay, okay. So up here we got time. Down here we got travel time. We want to get to all three patients, so we got to plan out our route. We got to plan out our route. Yeah, dude. No, I don't want to get bit. I want to get bit by a brown recluse. Alright, let's see. Travel time's 50. Alright, can we... Okay, so we're here. Okay, okay. And the other one's like, what, up there? Let's see. And that one's there. That one's there. Okay, so those two are like right next to each other. So I think we're going to start here, then from there to there, and then there to there. Easy. All right. Casey Lofuin. Friends call him Jewel Casey, as he's very protective of his toys and games collection. Which is the biggest in the structure. Friends are beginning to worry as this collection is getting out of hand. Let's talk to this guy. See if we can help him out. Not a problem for the world's greatest psychotherapist. I'm sorry. Psychotic therapist. I know, I know. My heritage is almost drained. Yada yada. Can't pay maintenance. He'll put my collection on election. Like, fuck you. Watch your language, mister. That collection is my life. My weight. 
Wait, you're not the maintenance man. No, I am not, bud. You're a mind scanner? I did not call for a mind scanner. Good luck digging around in my brain. It's filled with mint condition morals and unpunched memories. Everything in alphabetical order, of course. How's your brain in mint condition, dude? You're a full grown man. Nothing is tainted. Like my collection of action figures, games, and film posters. No dirty hands have ever been allowed to touch my collection ever. Well, I'm about to get my grubby little mitts all over that sweet little baby boy brain. Give it here. All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. We're gonna mind scan. Okay, doctor. So I'll tell you what I see on the screen. Hope you can make sense of it. Let's begin. Okay. Urgh. It's that awful maintenance man. Don't remind me. My heritage from my parents is almost gone. So I won't be able to pay maintenance. But fuck if I care again, watch your language, sir. They can't just take away my con collection. Spent all life savings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I understand this man. <gasps> Fanic? I love you. Thanks for coming. Guys, he's here. Alright, the poster for the Tiger Tongue remake that came out one years ago. I spent 50k on the original poster, by far the best version. And by the way, no discussion. If you don't agree, then well then, uh... Expensive hobby, of course. My first collectible. Construction crunch, the breakfast cereal. I have every box of breakfast products ever released, and they keep coming with new flavors. I pay for an extra room just for these. Lifelong collector. So, I think, I think I'm ready for a diagnosis. Alright. This hoarder has no limits. As Casey's collection expands each day, his bank account will soon be sucked dry. As he refuses to work or sell his collection, he will be forced to leave the structure when the d this day comes. Oh, goodbye. Have a good night. All right, gang. Is this dude? He's a hoarder. He's a hoarder. Is he insane or insane? What do you guys think? Is this uh, is this dude sane or insane? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? I'm thinking he's insane. But I'm mainly thinking that just so uh, I can steal his collection. Hmm. I'm thinking insane. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna call this man insane. True, nobody is ever sane. He's... All right, insane. He's got five insanity. It's two types of it. He's the entrepreneur. He's awaiting treatment. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta hurt, help. <laughs> Shit. We gotta help this man. He's 31 years old. He just needs some help. Okay. Alright, so I guess I come here. Okay. Alright. Initializing stress bar. Alright. You can only take so much stress. Alright, 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 alright. Okay. We got this personality bar too. So we got his stress on the left, personality on the right. I trust... I will never trust that man. He writes stuff on the internet about me. I write stuff on the internet about everyone. Alright, he's ready for treatment. Let's go. Sure, let's treat the weirdo. Let's put him under the knife for conserving games and toys. This is so wrong. Kylark is crazy. Gruntos is crazy. Winduth Vliuos is Tendrick Toilmaster. Donnie fucking Thumb. Not me. Alright, I don't like this guy's anger issues. Psychotron treatment device seems to be unstable. Avoid the red areas or you'll stress your payment. Okay. Okay, let's uh, see. Let's get let's get this tasty little number. It'll take some time and some money. Okay, and it cleanses his blood. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. But what's this one do? Sucks out the strange energy of your. Let's cleanse his blood. No, this one's more expensive, but it takes less time, and we are 
on a time crunch. We got other patients to help. Right, we gotta find the sweet slots and then execute the button. This is easy. I should have become a doctor a long time ago. I'm just give him drugs. Alright, let's... I'm a busy man. I don't know how... No, I need this, right? How do I actually treat this guy? I forgot what button I hit. Uh, treatment, of course. Duh. Whoa, this dude's really fucked up. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of... Alright, yeah. And now we... Alright, we blasted it. Alright, what do we got next? We're gonna insert this. Dude, we're running out of time! Oh, I'm making his blood wiggle. Look at his look at these little suckers wiggling. Got him. Dude, that blood wiggling. Oh shit. Okay. There's a sweet spot for this. Gotta get those. Is this on his stomach? Dude, is this just like his stomach fat wiggling? Okay, now we need this one again. Alright, 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 alright. Yeah, dude, let me make your blood wiggle. Hi, I'm T. Coop, so an unlicensed doctor, but I can make your blood wiggle. And that's the guarantee. Pretty sure cocaine makes blood wiggle. Treatment complete. I did it. Only got 41 seconds left. I'm... This dude costs too much time. You win, scanner. I see it now. Enough is enough. I don't need all this crap. I need to start parting with my collection. I need money for maintenance. Hey, no problem. This is what the doctor does. Do I have enough time to get to him? Nope. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my blood don't wiggle wiggle. It folds. If I'm your doctor, your blood be wiggling. I'm gonna run out of time. Alright. Well, I guess I just... I gotta end the day. Didn't treat everyone I wanted to, but that dude's blood was just too wiggly. He had the wiggliest blood I ever did see. Yeah, that's how you know you're sane. Thanks again for saving me. If it wasn't for you, I'd be running around in the outer zone with nothing but my clothes. I've already sold a third of my action figures. I'm keeping the best, of course, but I sent you one. Oh, this is me. One punch figure of the Boom Cube inside mint condition. I'm gonna eat it. Boom Cube, baby. Keep it, sell it, or throw it out. It's yours. Do whatever you want. Thanks again, scanner. All right, let's sell this bad boy. Let's get some money. Dude, honestly, if I just give them some Dr. Pepper, they should be fine. Yo, wait, was that Hondra? What's up? Imp? Hmm, hmm. I just got six dollars for that. The structure. We're keeping your daughter at the institute for further examination. Letting her return home would be dangerous for her and everyone around her. She's doing well. You have nothing to worry about. She's an interesting subject. You should be proud. From your malady in the mind. The structure. Acrylics, dude. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. All right, 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 all right. Yo, Koopa came this here? Let's go, dude. Sorry, I'm so busy treating my patients. I feel like I'm ignoring you all. My best and most precious patients. I'll treat you all soon. Just let me get some practice in, I promise. Let's see. Glenn lost his father at an early age and has since lived with his mother. He's a professional dancer at the Dome, but he has been neglecting his work since his mother passed away here ago. The hairstyles of Barbara are ever-changing. Her unique methods and hairstyling have made her a fashion icon. Her clients include many, many big personalities, but they're beginning to cut her from their lives. Alright, goodbye, Vanek. I love you. Mwah. Formerly known as Becky Jo Smith... 
After replacing flesh with implants, she turned into Christine and quickly became one of our city's most vocal and extreme cyborg activists. Well, um... Listen. I don't blame Christine. I don't think she's insane just from a glance. Because who wouldn't want to become a cool cyborg? Now, Barbara is a hairdresser. And that scares me enough on her own. And I think if we get them and then Glenn, because they're right next to each other, we're going to have to come back to Christine. But I think if we do Barbara just real snip, snap, snip, and then just boogie on over to Glenn Star. Yeah, no, cool cyborg. We don't need to treat them today because they're fine because everybody does want to be a cool cyborg. But let's see what's the deal with this hair cutter. I'm guessing you're not here for a haircut. She is. First my clients stop coming and now they send for you. I mean, they know what those they were in for when they stepped inside my salon. I'm an artist. Expect an artist. Barbara looks at her little finger, studying it. Alright, let's scan Barbara's mind. Officials roaming the streets. Order? I don't get it. Order is asphyxiating. I say let chaos reign. The only thing giving this life meaning is pushing it forward. Cut down officials, I say. Cut them down. A little bit of an anarchist we got here, I'm sensing. Look, I can't stand it. Long hair hanging down like moldy old curtains. Disgusting. I'd have to take a layer of skin along with it to make sure the scalp doesn't rot. I'd use a scalpel for that. Pretty effective. <sighs> Dangerous methods. That's... Alright, I think they're insane. They're talking about scalping people for having long hair. Tessa, I've been styling her hair for 12 years straight. Can you believe it? I haven't seen her in so on. She'll come back. She's not scared like the rest. But Tessa is always down with the latest clays. She's losing clients. She's losing clients. Alright. Nothing stops Barbara from following her desire to cut something down. Hair, flesh, objects, or paintings. If her intuition tells her it's off balance, it will be trimmed down. Yeah, that's that's kind of insane. Alright. Scissorosis. How am I supposed to get new clients with that diagnosis? I'm an artist, not a lunatic. There is a difference, but you're too fucking conservative to see this, aren't you? Ugh. That finger. Don't you call me conservative, dude. I'm fucking loosey-goosey as Larry Come. My hair is so fucking chopped down, it's bald. Like, you don't know who you're fucking with. I'm the best doc. I'm gonna destroy your brain. I'm destroying this brain. Barbara looks at her little finger with spite. Dude, Barbara's gonna chop off her little finger if I don't help her. Alright, let's treat her. How insane is she? Wow, what is that thing? It's your saving grace. Oh, there's a lot of red here. There's a lot of red. Don't you worry, Barbara. The doctor is in. Oh, I can't do it all the way. Okay, so this is going to take a while. Alright, yep, yep, yep. Alright. Oh, shit, that hurt him. Sorry, Barbara. Alright, 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 and easy. Alright, 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 alright. We need to get more. Oh, lordy lord. Alright, let's switch over to this one real quick. We're gonna go ahead and make her blood wiggle. Nothing like a good blood wiggling to stop her from chopping off her finger. Alright, beautiful. Look at that blood wiggle. Ah, she's at peace. Yeah. Oh, look at that execution. All right, got to thread the needle here. Too good of a doctor, honestly. Barbara, you're going to be okay. Treatment complete. I'm sorry. Laugh out loud, just do it quietly. Just do a little quiet week. 
Why on earth was I thinking of cutting off my finger? Oh, I should probably take a step back. My style, or I'm sorry. Why on earth was I thinking of cutting off my finger? Oh, I should probably take a step back. My style got out of control. Oh my, I just followed my passion. I thank you for making this clear, doctor. All right, and can we get to them? Travel time 40, and that gives me eight seconds to treat. That's more than enough time for a master doctor. You just gotta laugh quietly and rhythmically so it sounds like a noise machine. Mind scanning seems like a lot of work. It is a lot of work, but I'm a lot of doctor and I care about my patients. And I'm not gonna give up on them just because it's hard. The world's given up on them, but god damn it, I'm not going to. It's the whole reason I went to med school by downloading this game. All right, let's see. Oh, a mind scanner? I, uh, I did not expect this. Did mother send for you? Well, come inside. Dude, your mom's dead, first of all. You gotta get over that. All right, let's scan his mind. We gotta be quick with this one. Looks a bit like, like my biology teacher. A strong woman. Mother is also strong. Uh, respects authority. It's a magical place far away. Everyone is dancing. Free from any duties. Dreams of freedom. Mm -hmm. Chains tied to a house. Strange. Feels trapped. Alright, this guy's just sad because his mommy's dead. Glenn thinks his mother is alive and spends all his time caring for her. He is submissive and nervous. Great passion for dancing, but can't maintain his work as long as he's trapped in the clutches of his dead mother. He's insane, I'm sorry, but like... He's got a fear of being an orphan. He's got eight. Oh, man. He's got eight insanity. Jeez Louise. That means I'm going to have to cure an insanity per second. It's my most difficult case yet. I'm not going to be able to treat this dude tonight. Moms are hot. Moms are hot. Uh, every patient I cure, I cure in the hopes... That, in a, that it attracts a milk. And that is... That is the truth. If I don't have a milk to share it with, why am I the greatest doctor of the structures I've ever seen? You know? Then who, what am I doing it for? What's, what's the point? What's this all been about? Alright, alright, alright. I'm not gonna be able to, um... Maybe curing his insanity will bring back his mom. I'm not going to be able to treat him today. I don't have time for any of this. I don't have time for this dude's insanity. I can't even develop a new tool. All right. Can we treat him a little bit? Can I just give him a little bit of treat treatment? Let's see. Let's see. I wonder if my girlfriend's high. She asked if I wanted to see her baked. Maybe is your girlfriend a potato? Have we thought of that? I ran out of time. Damn. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna have to treat you again tomorrow, dead mom guy. Oh, we know that the structure is keeping your daughter from you. We can help you, and we believe you can help us as well. Just remember to take good care of your patients. Don't break the people. Break the structure. Moonrise? Oh, there's a resistance. I'm in. I'm in. I'm ready to be a part of the resistance. Fuck the structure. They took my daughter. They're making me call all these beautiful, beautiful people insane. And all they want to do is chop off their fingers and tend to their dead mothers. If that's insane, I don't want to be sane. I'm back. I'm back in business, baby. I sent a bunch of my products over to some of my most um, interesting projects and they forgave me. I can't thank you enough. I sent a bottle of my finest product. Nice. You open the small package. It contains the beauty product of divine intentions. It makes your skin surprisingly smooth. Oh, I got the smoothest skin around. That'll help me help. The, that'll help me put the things on there to get their blood to wiggle. Greetings, wine scanners have recently been contacted by a terrorist group known as Moonrise. They seek people. Oh, they destroy society. Okay, so they're calling the mines the Moonrise terrorists, but the Moonrise says they're resistance. The structure says will give me um, my daughter back if I keep doing well. But Moonrise says they can help me. 
Yo, dude, do I want to buy followers? Want to become famous? Yes. Buy followers, primes, and viewers on mountviewers.com. Oh my god, dude. I don't know if I even have any mods. Have I made anyone a mod? I don't have a mod. So, uh, we're just gonna leave that spam there tonight. No, 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 I trust him. I trust him. I'm gonna buy some followers tonight. It's time to buy some followers, and I'm gonna become famous. It's so incredible. Wow. All right, um... I'll make you a mod later. I'll make you a mod later. I gotta, I gotta treat some patience. Actually, let's take a break. We're gonna take a break, and I'm gonna make, uh... Holy shit, it's Mailman. That's my little cousin, guys. Well, he's taller than me now. But this is my cousin. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Yeah, dude, I did already get a... Life hack. Skip the middleman and buy fame. That is true, Billy. Why don't I just buy Famous? I'm gonna call the CEO of Famous up. Alright, how do I make someone a mod? How do I make anybody a mod? Well, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. How do I do this? Yo, Edgar, you got any advice? How do I make someone a mad? Yo, I just hit 50 followers. Let's go, baby. We did it. We did it. We're on the, we, we made it to 50. Let's go. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who's followed me. Um... It means the world. Uh, I'm glad you guys seem to be enjoying it so far. And, uh, yeah, thank you. It means a lot. Uh, stream 2, 50 followers. I think that's just absolutely incredible. Um, yeah. Um, thank you all. Thank you all. You're the real doctors. Not me. I'm just a guy in an ad. You're the real one keeping people from going insane. And that person you're keeping from going insane is me. So thank you. All right, all right, all right. Slash mod. Okay. And pity. K. Did that work? I'd kiss you so hard in a platonic manner right now. Dude, you're my cousin. You can't say that. Like, non-romantical. Okay, okay, non-romantical. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Did that work, by the way? Okay, yeah. Treasure, you're now a mod. Congratulations. Um, if anybody else wants to be a mod, just message me. And, yeah, I'd be more than happy to have more mods. This channel's growing fast, babies. It's growing so fast. We're going to have to get a million mods. Wait, why'd you ban the guy that was going to make me famous, Trisha? Oh, my goodness. Uh, T. Coop's fan club name is... I don't know what the fan club name is. Probably Tristopia. Um, and my fans are going to be called Tristopians. Because it's always sunny in Tristopia. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, let's see. Have they contacted me? Should I rat out the Moonrise? Should I rat out the terrorists? Or should I should I play it cool? Should I play it cool? Trist fans. Trist fans. I do like that too. That is very good. Uh, I actually do have a lot of merch that I've made uh, over the years that once I get famous enough, well, not famous, but, like, once I get enough followers and, uh, I feel like there's enough people to, like, hang out and, like, actually buy the merch to where I won't <laughs> lose what little money I have trying to create it, uh, I want to drop merch soon. That is something, because I want people walking around with my name on them, like a pair of juicy sweatpants, but instead of juicy, it says T. Coops on the ass. Um... Yeah, you're all Tristopians tonight. And I want to show you how you all look like beautiful stars tonight. Um, let's see. So, should I rat out Moonrise or not? Should I should I rat out the Moonrise or not? What do y'all think? I'm going to wait. I'm going to give you guys some times. Uh, Triscuits. So, we got a no. 
We got one no. No, do not rat him out. Ain't no snitch. You right? Ain't no snitch. We know better. He was raised to be no snitch. Hmm. Okay, if you receive a message from them or any suspicious messages, you are obliged to tell us. Okay, so here's the thing, though. I am worried that the moonrise doesn't actually exist. And it's the structure, like, trying to play more mind games with me. You know? Like, what if, what if the moonrise is just the structure trying to see who's a real one and who's not? Because while I'm not no snitch, I also am like a ride or die bitch. And I don't want the structure to think I ain't no ride or die bitch. And they have my daughter. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> nice, Milo's banning people. Alright, yeah, let's return to patient. Let's help Glenn out. Hello, doctor. Come and sit down. I was just making tea for mother. Do you want a cup? I would actually love a cup of tea, my man. Fine flavor of lavender. Glenn smiles as his stress levels lower. I'm glad I took that tea. Seems to uh, really mean a lot to him. Alright, so what types of sand? Let's get another toy to help him. Let's see. Um, What's this one do? Removes up to three types of insanity, locates, counts, and eliminates threatening patterns. And that seems kind of boring. What's this one do? Removes the insanity through the vocal cords of the patient. A uh, throatorizer. Yeah, I'll, I'll develop a throatorizer. You know, back in the day, your mom's nickname was the throatorizer. <laughs> oh my god, dude. You all just got roasted. You all just got throatorized me, Captain. I throwed her eyes with the best of them. Um, besides, it's mailman. I throwed her eyes to your mothers. Um, let's see. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it attached to the larynx. This device transforms the insanity into frequencies, forces them out using vocal cords of a patient. Caution requires a steady hand. I'm the steadiest doctor around, baby. Turn the knob to max power, nice and easy. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's treat this man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is that? Alright. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm the throatorizer. Your mom gets throatorized. Where? Come on, gotta get that blood wiggling. Nice. Alright, alright. No, no, no. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna do this. Alright. And we're going to... Nope, where is it? This one. Ah, shit, I heard him. Alright, there we go, there we go. Ah, god, I'm tearing this dude up. I'm just killing him. Throat train. All right, let's stop talking about throats. Family friendly stream. Come on, I'm a good dude. I don't need to talk about that. I'm family friendly. Come on. All right, this I'm 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 hurting this guy bad. I'm hurting him real something something harsh. Let's wiggle some blood. That'll make him feel better. What happens if I accidentally kill someone? I have to live with that. Jeez, Louise. Is this blood wiggling? No, his middle one's not wiggling fast enough. There we go. Alright, there we go. Alright. And we're gonna go to this one. Alright, alright. And, yeah. What are you doing, step sis? No, 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 it doesn't actually have to be family friendly. Just keep it frosty, you know? And now we can, and now we can make his, no, we can, yeah, we can throaterize him. Easy, yeah, okay, oh, I gotta go slow.
Throw Terrorizer for the win. Throw Terrorizer for the win. Let's go. God, I love helping people. Look at me, dude. I can't be stopped. I did not realize Mother is dead. I'm sorry. But she's been dead all this time. I don't know what got into me. Thank you for curing me, Doctor. I'll visit Mother at Embering Funnel from now on. Hey. This job gets rough sometimes. But I know when I helped out that man, it really makes it worth it. It's what I do it for. It's what I do it for. Ugh. Complete my throat game collection. Come over. I'll help you. What's this dude? It removes stress. Alright, we're gonna spend the rest of the day. Um it, yeah, it's called mind scanners. Uh we're gonna spend the rest of the day like developing stuff, I think. Expanding my toolkit. Uh, yeah, I'll make you one of the mods. Uh, how do I make a mod? Let's see. Let's do this again. All right, all right, all right. All right. Intro. All right, all right. I don't know. Mod space is full right now. That's not true. Slash mod. Nope. Username. Trisha, you are incredible. Trisha, if you weren't incredible enough to hold your own against any mod that I also may grant, I wouldn't have made you a mod in the first place. You've got job security. I hold you in the highest regard. You do not have to worry about that. I trust and believe in your skills as a mod. And nothing's going to change that. you got this. Just because... Nish is the Taylor Swift of hot and amazing people. That doesn't make you any less. There can be two Swifties here, you know? It's not real. It, this stream doesn't exist in real life. This is a fantastical fantasy space where we can all be Taylor Swift. Yeah. Alright, alright, let's get back to it. Let's treat more patients. Right, let's see, let's see. Alright, let's see. What's this do? Mind maze. Okay, that's locked, locked. Too much time. Can I develop you? A retina decoder. Mirrors the soul of the patient through the eyes. Well, I would love to see some patient souls, honestly. This organic machine mirrors the soul of the patient through the eyes. Match the pattern to extract the insanity from the soul. Hey, thanks for coming by, Josh. I love you, man. You sleep well, all right? All right. Then let's exit. Let's exit. Do I have time to get to any of them? No, and they're right by each other, so we're going to go ahead and... We're going to end the day today, and tomorrow we're going to have two patients by each other. And tomorrow we're actually going to treat two patients back to back. We need to stop being a one patient a day doc, because we're trying to make money so we can see our daughter. You receive a letter from Glenn Starr. How's he doing? I hope he's doing well. Dear Doctor, thank you so much. Here are two tickets from Mountain Beyond, my upcoming show at the Sphere. Oh, dude, he invited me to his dance recital. That's very nice. Keep your eyes open. When the time is right, we will talk again. Accept any birthday invitations. Moonrise. Okay, so I got a birthday party to go to. <laughs> oh, man, I'm a popular guy. I love Anna, too. Yeah, let's get an Anna appreciation thread going. Acrylics? 
Uh, thanks for stopping by, my dude. I really appreciate it. <laughs> we won't be too family friendly. And I hope your girlfriend's just high and not a potato, because that would suck ass. Hire sub doctors. Develop passive income. Profit. Sigma grind. Yeah. I need to hire, like, a temp. Um. In game. To help me with all my patience. Who's this guy? Alan Lee is a fast and reliable copywriter, but his tendency to speak incomprehensible slang has gone from that to worse. Now, that's funny. He's not insane. That's just a good goof. ZX81 appeared out of nowhere a few days ago. He claims to be a robot, but even the most untrained eye will see through this act. All right, let's talk to this guy. He seems like he's having a rough go of it. Anna's too good for any man that comes her way. Anna's too good for anyone that comes her way. It is an act of benevolence and mercy that she interacts with us. Halt, citizens. State your business. Do you work for Sinclair Research? No. Then, who are you? I'm a mind scanner. I see. I don't have a mind to scan, but you might be able to access my central processing unit. Zemon's <laughs> Musk child is scanning and mind scans. <laughs> if you want to look inside the workings of a cutting-edge machine, be my guest. ZX81. Alright, let's get inside this dude's brain. Let's see what's going on. What a face. Symmetrical bionic features. Oh. The beauty. Is this real or some fantasy? I think this is the robot com companion that I long for, but we'll never find. This dude's just lonely, so he became a robot. We've all been there. The readout from the hospital. The numbers are all red. I don't know what this animal belongs to, but it's clearly unhealthy. The frailty of the human being. I'm happy I'm indestructible. His own report. So he's lonely and dying, and that scared him. So he wanted to become an unfeeling, indestructible machine. Wires everywhere. I'm strapped to some sort of table. This is Sinclair Research. Where was I created? Father, why don't you love me? Manufactured lie. And you shall scan your mind. I'm going to scan everybody's mind. Let me get some more practice on these patients, and then I'm going to do mind scans for all of you. An underlying dissatisfaction with the job seems to be causing this individual to escape from reality and take the personality of ZX81, a robotot fugitive. I think he's a little insane. Robodentity. Of course, he's got 11 insanity. Jeez Louise, this dude's bad. Oh my god. He's like the Tom Brady of having insanity. Let's go. I have a systems error. Maybe there's a virus or some sort of Trojan. I can run a die. Okay, I'm not going to take you back there, dude. We're just going to treat you. We're just going to treat you. Ain't nothing to worry about. It's going to be peachy keen. Alright, treatment. We're going to speed run this guy. Let's, let's see. So what's first? We got this and then that. So we're going to pop this guy off real quick. I'm going to get his blood wiggling. If he was a robot, then how come he has blood that's wiggling? This machine doesn't make anything else wiggle but blood, bud. So, his blood has been wiggled. Okay, gotta wiggle some more blood from him. He could be a cyborg, that is true. I mean, he does have a robot's face. That's gotta be it, right? It's not moving as fast as the others. That's it. Fuck! Beautiful. Got him. Got him. That took a lot of time. That took a lot more time than I thought. Such a bad doctor. I'm going a little too slow. I'm not doing good. I'm not even going to cure this dude. Mm. 
All right, well, we helped him. We helped him a little. How many we got done? We only got five done. Sheesh. We gotta focus up a little bit. Synchronized jiggling. It's my favorite. It's my favorite, too. Uh, all right. End of day. We gotta sleep. Shoot. Darn, darn, darn. We're not doing bad, but we're not. There's a rising concern among our citizens. Today's news! There's a rising concern among our citizens as the Outer Zone continues to gather outside our city walls. Their intention is still unknown. The gathering started six days ago, and today there is an estimated total of 3,000 Outer Zoners camping at the North Gates and the South Gates. The constructor spoke earlier today. I understand your worries, but I assure you, we have the situation under control. Alright, 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 alright. I'm gonna grab another drink. So, uh... We'll be right back after these messages. Dude! Get freshy! Dude, freshy! The new car. The scent in itself defines success. Nothing is more attractive than success. There's a way for you to have this without being successful. Contemporary auto aroma. Drive her wild without being able to drive her anywhere. Smell like a new car without having to have one. The only cologne that is not a cologne at all. Contemporary auto aroma. Just wear one of these around your neck, you broke piece of shit. Corn. It's the heart of America. Bringing people together since 1938. Corn's more than a food for us. It's a way of life. Whether it's putting some on the fire and toasting it up right, or watching a pot of it overboil and make a big old corn mess, it defines who we are. But this guy wants to take it away. He says corn's lame. Well, I think he's lame. If corn's so lame, then why do the ladies love it? And why do they love it when I eat it in one big bite long ways? <laughs> Checkmate, corn is lame guy. Corn, keep eating. Keep America eating. Keep being cool. Keep cool. I'm back. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Dude, I would, uh, you guys could definitely land an ad on a T-Coop stream if you have a good presentation. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. I gotta finish helping this guy. And then we'll go there. Now I know what Tristan does in the attic all day. Yeah, pretty much that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. There's a few more commercials. But, uh, yeah, just a sec, I need to reboot, there we go. All right, dude, let's get some insanity out your mind. All right, let's get that blood jiggling. We're running out of time. Now we're going to see into his soul.
What? Okay. Blink, bro. We're just gonna hit the last one with this. Wait, his personality's gone. Did I, like, lobotomize this dude? I think I lobotomized this dude. Like, I think I just destroyed his personality. That's not good. Like, I don't think I am human. I forgot to mention the minor side effects of your treatments. They sort of reduce the personality of your patients. Once the personality is completely removed, it can never be recovered. No worries. You get paid in either way. Their insanity is first priority. It must be removed at any cost. Nikes! I'm listening to Moonrise, actually, because they want me to treat my patients with care, and I took an oath. Ooh, man, is there a way... Is there, like, something I can develop that will... I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. Fuck! Alright. Let's travel to her, at least scan her mind. Man. Yeah, his personality was being a robot, but if we turned it down a little, he's just robot enthusiasts, you know? Greeting, cyborg. No. Are you interested in a pamphlet? It's a light read. I have them somewhere. Uh, yeah, I got a little time to read. Cyborg's a human, too. A 10-step guide on how you become one with machines. You flip it open. The first page reads, They might be your neighbor. Your vid screen repairman, or even your lover. Cyborgs live in peace all around us. I hope it's a cyborg lover. <laughs> Alright, I need to scan you. Well, that makes me a little nervous, but I'm gonna say okay, I guess. Alright, they're trusting. I like them. I, don't, I really don't think they're insane. I think they just want to be a cyborg. Pure animal instinct. Disgusting, really. Despises non-cyborgs. They might be a little insane. Yo! Faye, thank you for lurking. I have some weak plain skin naked in front of God. Well, not for much longer. Soon all humans will see this. Ah, uh, okay. They might be a little more insane than I thought. A human riding in a car. What a parasitic relationship. Why two separate engines? One mission. Oh, they should be one. Ah. Uh, purist. Can I get those wrong? Mm, yeah, sadly they're insane. Not for wanting to be a cyborg, for but wanting to force everyone else to be a cyborg. You know, that's where it's... That's where it's a little iffy. Alright, awaiting treatment. Let's treat him up. What? No, did someone tell you to do this? This is unbelievable. I'm trying to spread the message of love and understanding. Don't you know that? You're breaking my mechanical heart. Well... Look. Look, Christine. Oh, poor, poor spirit. I hope he's doing okay. I hope he sleeps well. Alright, we're just gonna end the day. Whoa. Go easy on your patients. You have plenty of kapok. There's no need to rush treatments. They are human, you know. Yeah, that's why I'm ending the day. We need to uh, make something that saves their personality. Because I don't want to be just draining them. Happy they'll return to us without the box on his head. But he still doesn't seem quite like himself. Be careful with those machines of yours. That makes me sad. I fucked Bill up. I fucked Bill up bad. Mind scanning's a dangerous business. I don't deserve these doctor glasses. Wish I had a dude freshie to calm my nerves. Alright, we gotta we gotta make something that's gonna <laughs> Use the radar to locate a symbol that matches one of the buttons. First thing you find might not be what you're looking for. Okay. Alright, we gotta help people. Not hurt them. They're very insane. Alright, let's help out this lady. 
What was that? Alright, can I ask you a personal question? Do you have any technology in your system enhancing or otherwise? None of your business. Alright. Alright, alright. Let's treat her! Alright, we're gonna do this. Right off the bat, we're gonna go here. Ah, shit. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Beautiful. And now we can throaterize her. Let's get throaterizing. Ah, man, I gotta have to calm down. Calm down, Tickers. Calm down. You got time. That's good work. That's some good work right there. Back to this. Mm. All right, let's take some of this away. Mm. Okay. Yes. out there with this. Mm, okay, it's okay. We just took away some pain. Personalities are not overrated. Don't let patience lose them. All right, all right, yeah, come on. We're learning, we're learning too. They didn't tell me beforehand. Like, I'm just, I'm just, a, I'm a doctor, not a magician. All right, let's get that blood jiggling. Ah, dang! Didn't didn't blood didn't blood the jiggle didn't jiggle the blood didn't jiggle the blood. I know, man. This is gonna be a two day lady. This is a two day patient, two day patient right here. Crazy cyborg. I'm losing money on this woman. I'm just draining. You see your daughter trapped in a sea of wires. <laughs> New Batman villain, the Jiggler, just dropped. Oh, man. What are you doing? You have to be more careful. Whatever you do, do not release the personality of your patients. We warn you only once. Do not break the people, break the structure. It was a mistake. He thought he was a robot anyway. Get off my back. All right. Okay, come on. I accidentally drained her personality, too. Alright, that was just careless. That was just pure me being careless. Uh, we'll save the next one. I don't even really want to treat her anymore now that her personality is all the way gone. Like, can we just... This one, you know? You can't feel pain. You don't even have a personality anymore. Come on. Don't be hitting me with that owl bull crap. Good button pressing. I do know how to push some buttons. Unfortunately, I pushed too many buttons and broke Christine's personality. Oh man, I'm really fucking them up out here today. 
I'm just out of here. Ben Benewidget Balderdash. Benewidget is an expert in the past and a respected preserver of history. In the past few weeks, his wife has stated that her husband's fascination with the medieval era has become absurd. Let's talk to him. I get it. I'm as much of a history nerd as the rest of them. So we're going to get at him. Oh, Grace, you summoned me. What is your command? Uh, one second, but I got a Snapchat. I got to check. All right, and mind scan. Yes, your grace. I will do as you please. I don't think this dude's insane. I like it. I like this guy. Our spearmen. I trained them to become the very best in the of the con continent. Nothing can stop them. They can pierce through anything. He thinks he trained an army. Not really insane, though. Your grace. It's your golden armor. I've never seen a more intricate and beautifully decorated armor. The work of genius. Likes armor. Who doesn't like armor, though? Like, come on. Me, kneeling at your feet. My proudest moment. I pledge my life to the protection of your kingdom. Maybe this dude is a little crazy. He seems a little stalkerish. Uh, Alright. Sorry. Sorry, Ben a widget. You're insane. Oh, poor Ben a widget. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. We're gonna... He might be a Tristopian stuck here. No, I shouldn't have seized. Oh, damn. I'm sorry if I failed you, your grace. I'll do my best to make up for this. I pledge my life to you. I await your command. Sorry, Ben and Widget. We, we gotta make sure we keep this one's personality. I'll never forgive myself. Yeah. Just like when I... Wow. Yeah, I'd push that button on and never turn it off, dude. Alright, let's see. Uh, we're gonna come here. We're gonna hit it with that. Right. There we go. Nailed it. How's his personality doing? Still there? Alright. Nailed it again. Alright, we're doing fantastic. Alright, we're gonna get rid of this one, too. Ah, shit, Ben and Widget, you okay, bud? Ben and Widget, don't! Alright, there we go, bud. You're okay, you're okay. We're just gonna finish this one for the day, and then we'll be done. Uh, I think I'm just kind of planning it a little bit. Alright, Ben and Widget, you had a good day, bud. You have a good night, and you take care of yourself. By my flesh, you roasted our leader, you brainwashed Christine, fucking plain skin, we'll turn you into a pile of meat. Bring it on, bro! Bring it on, dude. They, <laughs> some cyborgs want to scuff up with the coops. They ain't going to get very far. I'll take on a cyborg right now. It's what I do best, honestly. I fight cyborgs better than I fight people. I can get the water bottle short circuit them. You know what I mean? Taking a, I'm sorry, I was taking a selfie. Alright, let's sleep. I need to make more money. I need to make more money. My problems in real life are following me into video games, I swear. Mess med school and you just know, yeah. Incoming facts. ID number 34424. Do not share, do not discuss, do not question the structure. The pulse is on the rise. This vicious illness develops in the carrier's a compounded force, similar to an electrical current. This disruptive force can be released on purpose or accidentally due to an instability. Either way, the results are catastrophic and should be stopped at all cost. Take a selfie with you, like with the chat screen? You want me to take a selfie with the chat screen? I'll do that. I can take a selfie with the chat screen. Let's see. I think that came out beautifully. That's going on my LinkedIn. Alright. The Faraday program is our newest effort at the Zignuka Institute. It is created to eliminate the pulse. We are currently examining five carriers of the pulse. 
known as disruptors. If you encounter any disruptors or any signs of the pulse, report to us immediately. Okay. Oh, another fax? Come on. <laughs> Faraday program. No, no, no. You were, uh, you were in it. Billy, you did blink, but I'm not retaking it just for that. Uh, no, Nish, you were, you were a little cropped out, but you are definitely in it. You were in it. You were in it. For sure. For sure. Bro, I'm about to the pulse so hard. Instead of farting now, I'm going to say I'm about to pulse. I'm going to pulse. Finally found a way to eliminate the pulse. Those disruptors must be stopped before they destroy all Sinoka based machines. Yes, I'm worried I am running on Zignoka myself, you know. Heck, the whole city is. Get back well back to work, scanner. Okay, let's go help my buddy. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really care about all the lore and the backstory. I care about two things. Get my daughter helping my patients. I don't care about terrorist organizations or whatever. The treasury has seen better days, your grace. I must advise against the festivities next month. We must spend each coin carefully. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Alright, uh, let's treat him. Let's get to treating. Now, so we're gonna come here. We're gonna hit him with that med school button. Ah, shit, Balderdash. Alright, let's take some pain away, button. Let's heal your personality. Uh, I don't really have, like, a Discord server for myself. I'm a part of a few that are very... Wait, hold on. Sorry, one second. Let me... We healed his personality. That's so good. I feel so, so happy about that. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Shit, sorry, Balderdash. I gotta heal this guy. I'm gonna kill him. Come on. Where is it? I don't care if it takes like five more fucking days. I'm making sure I don't destroy this dude's personality and kill him. I say as I heard him. As I heard him twice. And as I heal him once. Alright. Been a widget, you get some rest, bud. We'll be back tomorrow. We're gonna be back tomorrow. You get sleep. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mind Scanner, you have accumulated 173 science. At this juncture, it is my privilege to congratulate you on your level 2 citizenship. Let's go. We're one level citizenship away from freeing my daughter. Being a level 2 citizen comes with many perks. Free parking, access to better vegetables, and don't forget, become a level 3 citizen and get access to the Zignoka Institute. I do like access to better vegetables. Alright. Let's go, bud. I've been promoted to customer. Alright, dude. Your grace, barbarians are approaching the gates. They have no chance against us, so what do they want? Perhaps we could buy their army? Alright, 
first of all, I gotta heal you, my man, because you are just, you are not looking good. All right, no, we're doing great, we're doing great. So now we just gotta get back in here and we're gonna take out. Great button push. Oh man, that was a world-class button push right there. I just fucked up. All right, all right. There we go, there we go, there we go. The whole world is on my shoulders, it feels like sometimes. What are you gonna do? All right, let's look in this guy's eyes. All right. All right, all right, all right. You couldn't take me anywhere, dude. You couldn't even take me to McDonald's if I was already sitting in the drive-thru. Wait, no, I fucked up. Gotta fix that personality, bud. There we are. Let's get it back at it. This has been my most intensive session yet. Like this, this, this one. This guy's been difficult, but he's been worth it. Knowing that I'm helping such a kind soul. All right, Ben and Widget, we're gonna finish it tomorrow. I'm losing money on this guy. I'm losing money on this guy, but I do not care. We are saving Ben and Widget. I don't care if I have to restart the whole game because I fail so badly with everyone else. We are saving Ben and Widget. We're helping him get a little less insane so his wife doesn't leave him. And then, he'll still have his personality. Another incident of the pulse occurred today at Jack's Noodle Diner in the boot. Mm, God, I could go for some noodles. I am starving right now. Oh, God. Yeah, doll, wake up. Ben Widget is the only one worth saving. Fuck everybody else. Ben Widget's my new best friend. The owner, Jack Francis, comments, If I'd known he was a jammer, I would have never hired him. The drop. Alright, dude, shut up, bro. Shut up, stop talking to me. I got Ben and Widget to help. Babe, wake up. New Ben and Widget treatment just dropped. Tis a glorious day, old Grace. Perhaps a day for horseback riding. I'll have the horses saddled up in no time. I love this dude. Ben and Widget is great. That was a good one. That was a good one. Hell yeah. Alright, 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 alright. Fuck, sorry, Ben and Widget. Sorry, Ben and Widget. Alright, we're gonna finish this one and then we're gonna heal you, okay? Alright, so we're gonna... We're gonna hit you with... Oh! Shit. Alright, alright, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. We got you, Ben and Widget. I ain't gonna let you fall. Right, come on, bud. We're getting you the help you need, and we're gonna make sure you're okay while we do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's doing great. He's such a trooper. Saved Ben and Widget. We saved Ben and Widget Baller Dash. <sighs> Think I've earned these back. Oh, it just occurred to me that's your mind scanner. I I thought, hmm, 
By the way, am I wearing this heavy armor? It's all a little bit fuzzy. I do feel a little silly. <laughs> Thanks for making me think straight. It's my pleasure, Benawidji. It's my goddamn pleasure. I'm so happy right now. We, we saved Benawidji. And that's what it's all been about. Yes! Golly, we did it. Oh, man. Oh, I'm overjoyed. Whew, today was a good day. Alright, Mike Zipita. The front the front man of Mike Zipita and the half zips is one of the most celebrated rock stars in the structure. Now his usual message of hope is given way to a dark man. We gotta go help the depressed rock star. Let's go. Oh, what do you want? Oh, my scan. You're here to help me out, keep an eye on things. I don't think we have much time. It'll be any minute now. Look out for anything hostile or fan. Heavy things falling from the sky. I don't know anything. You're going to die? Oh, I'm certain of it. I know with complete certainty that I'll die at the age of 27. I don't know how I know, or how it's going to happen, but I'm certain. Will I be attacked by escape polypeds? Maybe I'll stumble into an air vent. Instantaneous combustion from a previous Zygdose overdose. It's a waiting game at this point. You've got to help me. Let's scan his mind. Cover of our first number one single, Time Eraser. We were basically kids back then, so much ahead of our time. I thought I was indestructible, that I would live forever, but I'm not, I might not live another year. Became aware of death. There, underneath my bed, it's some sort of pentagram, an ancient curse perhaps. There's chicken scab bones scattered across it too, some crazy fan. Uh, paranoid. Look at that crane, sure, carrying a heavy load of concrete there, but look at that rope, it's all frayed, that thing's gonna snap in ye second. Thoughts of disaster. Uh, none of you are gonna die at 27, I do not allow it. Uh, Zipita is exhibiting extreme paranoid tendencies, believing that his death will occur in his 27th year. This makes him unable to perform, and the songwriting has been even worse. He's insane, we gotta treat him. As one rocker to another, I gotta save this guy. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's let's treat him. Let's treat him right up. Not sure what to think about that, my friend. I mean, you're the professional and all, but what in if your machine? What if your machines are what finally sticks it to me? All right, bro, just shut up, get treated. Don't be a little baby. Let's get that blood jiggling. You're a rocker. You know all about blood moving in rhythm. That was pretty clutch. I got two right there at the buzzer. I wish I was a vampire. Being a vampire would be so cool. So very cool. Oh. Alright, hey. This is Monica. I'm calling about the birthday party. Will you join us? Wait, this is for the terrorist organization. Should I go? Or should I not? I'll let you guys pick for this one. Do I go to the birthday party? The terrorist birthday party? Yes. The birthday party. Good enough for me. Great. The party goes down at Red Lake Dock. See you. Okay. Ooh. All right. Let's let's meet this terrorist organization. Nice to finally meet you. We'll leave the names out for now. Your radio phone could be listening. Do you mind handing it over? Yeah, take that, dude. He's annoying. She carefully replaces a pin from the back of your radio phone and hands it back. There. 
Our signal will now be scrambled. The structure will have a hard time intercepting our communication. Okay. We will continue to meet in physical form right here by the lake. Okay. My dad used to take me fishing here all the time. Lord knows what mutated horrors from that filth nowadays. Anyway, have, why is she wearing her hat over her eyes? Yes, I've heard about the Outer Zoners. How is this going to help me get my daughter? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll give you the facts. I gave her facts. All I do is speak facts. Oh, yeah. Nice. That was a fun birthday party. Oh, <gasps> he was listening. What? I have feelings too, you know. Moonrise? Oh, that? No, she's coming with me. I won't tell the structure even if, if I wanted to. Just do your thing. I won't stand in your way, scanner. Okay, he's pretty cool. Alright, uh... Huh. Um... Oh no, this rocker's kind of difficult. Let's go talk to Alan Lee. Let's diagnose Alan Lee at least. Alright, Mr. Lee, what's going on? Snap, a mind scanner? Well, alright, I can zig. I said I can zig. I zig it. It's a scream. I can smell what you're cooking if you catch my drift. This dude just sounds like any of my friends. This is exactly how Edgar talks to me. Yeah, this cat is alright. Check it. Let's go. Yeah, her hat did kind of suck. It was just like a beanie pulled down over us. The blank page stares back at you. You know what I mean? Just me and that ink. It's out of this world. Pure jazz. Pure energy. Especially since I got my upgrade. I call this one the outer zone. I'm talking a vacation. Taking a vacation paid for by the Boston gym. My trip is to the outer zone. The outer zone of love. <gasps> I can get them wrong. Holy shit. My coworkers are over at Sim Sim and Sons. Real eggheads just staring at me, not able to comprehend my words. Well, it's their loss. You snooze, you lose. It's proud. My talkie chip. Post order installed it myself. Clicked it right in there, man. Yes, sir. They call me a cyborg. I call myself a seeker. Speech enhancement. A typewriter, real classic beauty. But hey, the letters are all in the wrong order on this one. Good for some edgy montage work, I suppose. Pretentious. He is kind of pretentious. Yeah, he's just pretentious and just likes... Like, he's just pretentious and annoying, like... I only get three dollars for that, bro? Jackpot, snapping point, big boss says I'm saying, must improve my credit rating, daddy needs a new pair of jet skis, flip you on the seaside, cause I'm out of here, skippity boom, baby. Yeah, that's right, skippity boom, baby. I'll start saying that. Skippity boom indeed, baby. Only robots his way out of your sight in a very, very annoying way. Skippity boom, baby. Skippity boom. Alright, let's talk to Elise. She's old as shit. She probably ain't got much time. Elise is carrying two heavy boxes. The old lady looks like she could collapse any minute. Let me help. What? What? Nonsense. I can manage and, and who are you supposed to be? Mind scanner, ma'am. Mind what? Anyways, I'll just put these here so we can talk. There, Elise Duran, nice to meet you. I'm going paragliding. Wanna join? Um, paragliding, ma'am? Uh-huh, I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'll meet with the construction at the rim of the crater, and it's for research purposes. We will be mapping the crater so we know exactly where to build the walls. The crater, but... 
Don't be such a wuss. We have all the right equipment to climb the crater walls, and oh, the constructor found the name for the city. It's going to be called the structure. Such an insounding name. She's old as shit. <laughs> Skibbity boom, baby. Yeah, dude. Hey, thanks for stopping by. It's is mailman. Um, I'll see you around, dude. Really appreciate you hanging out for so long. My parents are working. I want to go outside with them and play in the sun. Working seems so boring. Our cabin on the train. This train will make the travel time shorter. It's still a long journey. I don't know what we will do once we get to the crater. But mommy says there's hope for us there. I'm hungry. Starting a new life. Uh. Looks tremendous. The first piece of the wall is finally placed. It's rising high into the sky. What a wonderful sight. Soon the structure will become reliving the past. We gotta help her. She leaves to be 14, then 22, then 3 years old. This illusion of age and the air will make her do things that seem out of context. Alright, let's see if we can cure her dementia. Golly, she's got bad insanity. Waiting treatment. Sheesh. Preposterous. Your apparatus is not working correctly. Only old people get diagnosed with chronosis. I'm 34. Return in 50 years. Then perhaps we can talk. Don't you get tootie with me, bitch. I'll erase your whole personality. I don't care. I don't really like this lady. There we go. Get it popping, let's get this blood wiggling. Skippity boom, baby. Skippity boom. All right, let's see. I need to get some more tools. I need to develop more stuff for my toolkit. I'm just not working as effectively as I could be. Shut up, Elise. I'm gonna zap you again. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, I'm gonna grab another drink real quick. We're gonna take a break here. We're gonna wait for the end of the day. Let's see, do we have a dream? Your daughter smiles at you. She looks different from how you remember. Dude, they've, they've done some fucked up shit. Uh, so I will be right back. I'm going to grab a drink and enjoy some more commercials. I hope you guys are all having fun. Thanks for hanging out. You're funnier than you were two seconds ago. You still live in your mom's basement. You're still twice divorced. But at 420 in the improv building, Dr. Richard changed your life forever. That was just one joke, but you're going to tell it again and again. Countless professors and friends, in classrooms, residence halls, and around HR accidentally at work. You'll take these jokes with you. They'll shape you and help define you. Because these moments are what you pay us for. And why we show up hungover to teach. And who we are. Falkier University of Comedic Knowledge. Apply today. Birds, cute, lovable, feathery little friends, right? Wrong! The government is using birds to spy on you and everyone in the country! You think nighttime is real? It's when they go recharge the birds! Have you ever seen a bird and a government drone in the same room? Exactly! First you let the birds in a birdhouse, next thing you know they're watching you inside your house! They want to get in! 
I want you to look at this fucked up thing and you tell me that's not a goddamn spy! They're watching you! Watch the skies! The government is gathering data from the birds! They don't want this out there! It's not a conspiracy! Get freshy. Dude, freshy. The new car. The scent in itself defines success. Nothing is more attractive than success. There's a way for you to have this without being successful. Contemporary auto aroma. Drive her wild without being able to drive her anywhere. Smell like a new car without having to have one. The only cologne that is not a cologne at all. Contemporary auto aroma. Just wear one of these around your neck, you broke piece of shit. I am back. How'd you guys like the ads? Dude, Fresh, Dude Freshy is the best drink under Dr. Pepper. All right, let's get back to scanning some minds. Today's news. With us in the studio this morning, we have big overnight success. Alan Lee. Welcome, Alan. Hey, I treated this guy. Wait, I didn't finish treating this guy. Oof. Skippity sh no, I did finish. All right, skippity shoe horse zig it straight. Likewise, I'm sure, Alan. <laughs> Last night, you climbed a speaker mast on Core Street and spoke your words to the people within an hour. You had how many? Six. Six thousand. Damn, that's impressive. I'm, I did a good thing not curing this guy. Six thousand people watching you. The event was broadcasted shortly after the whole city was reciting your words. You've already quit your day job. How does it feel to be famous, Alan? Smooth like a butterfly chocolate sun on a bunny hopping hop pop smackdown. All right. Skip, skippity, blow up doll. Mango chief, silent eyes. <laughs> Incredible. Thanks for joining us, Alan. This is hashtag Rasmussen reporting from the core news. Dude, I did it. Blow up, doll. We need to know about this Faraday program. Your daughter must be one of the test subjects. This has led us to believe that your daughter has the power of the pulse. The pulse is a disruptive force that can shut down any Zygnoka based machine, basically anything that runs the structure. I gotta save my daughter to save the world. Incredible. I gotta, I gotta finish curing this old lady or kill her.
Don't you worry, Elise. I may not like you that much, but I ain't gonna I ain't gonna give up on you. I took an oath. I'm a doctor, damn it. I'm a doctor, damn it, I gotta help these people. Nice. Let's go. All right, we're helping. Wow. <laughs> Nailed it. God, I'm good. Sheesh, I should be a doctor or something. Ah, shit. Sorry, Elise. Sorry, Elise. That was my bad. There we go, easy, first try. All right, let's heal her up a little bit. Let's get that personality popping. Yeah. We're gonna help her. We're really gonna help her. You took the Dr. Pepper oath. Yeah, I did. I did take the Dr. Pepper oath. Don't let your app crash. Easy. Simple as pie. No. Dr. Pepper pie. Dr. Piper. Dr. Piper. <laughs> I'm Dr. Piper. <laughs> Let's get this blood, blood a little wiggling. I really wish I had a device that would, like, just make my blood wiggle on my stomach like this. I feel like I'd never get anything done other than get some wiggly blood. Ah, shit. My bad, Elise. I really thought I had your blood wiggling there. She's only got five left, so let's go ahead and blood wiggle. No, 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 no. We need to throw her. Throw her riser. No, we need to do this. Hit it with this one. And... All right. Oh, shit. Okay, I need to heal her. I'm about to kill her. All right, let's get back out there. I get for trying to rush this old lady. I need to not focus on the money, but focus on the patience. <sighs> yeah, I know they require further stuff, dude. I'm trying. I'm trying very hard, okay? You just don't understand what it's like to be a doctor in this place, dude. Give me a break. Oh, there's going to be a new park in the boots. The park will be a hybrid park, a brand new concept. That's exciting. Otherworldly fauna and state-of-the-art technology mixed in unique ways. Techno Park is ready in three months. That's pretty sick. All right, let's develop some stuff. I think we've been seeing a lot of this one. All right. All right, so we're going to... Pop that out for now, because this lady doesn't have any of those. Alright, let's go. Uh, you can't go jet skiing, lady. You're 105 years old. You will die. Alright, let's throw it a riser. Hunter, you're here. Let's go, dude. Thanks for coming by. Glad you're here, bro. Let's go. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. If I went to therapy. One second. Let me show you. Let's try this. How's this work? What the fuck? I gotta guess how many there are. There's three. Of course. All right, I gotta... There we go, there we go, there we go. 
Alright, and... Alright, our personality is good. We're gonna pull out this. We're gonna hit him with the, that one. Ah, shit. Sorry, Elise. There we go. You're a tough old broad. Ah, you're a weak old broad. You're weak. Don't worry, Elise. I'm not gonna let you die. I'm a doctor, damn it. out. Just gonna take it slow. <laughs> Daily Discord emotion log. Can someone buy me nitro so can I so I can explain to my therapist how I feel? Mm -hmm. Easy. We did it. We healed her. Rats are very self-aware. Have you never seen Ratatouille? Remy the Rat knew exactly who he was and what he wanted and how he felt about things. Dear me, I've been making a fool out of myself half the time. It was a lot of fun though, Batman. I better take care of myself. An elderly woman like me should not lift. All right. I'm glad we helped her. All right. Um. I mean, I guess we'll, we can't even travel with this loser. Let's, let's diagnose this guy. Did you punch me in the face so I can go to Dr. Cruz for treatment? No, don't get punched in the face, dude. Dr. Herbert has a visitor. Bert Herbert says... Bert Herbert has a visitor. Bert Herbert says hi. Visitor must be quiet. Shh. Little man is sleeping. Little man? Little man is very little. Little man sleeps in the left armpit of Bert Herbert. I see. He's got a little man living in his armpit. He's not insane. He's just big ear. Little man comes out of ear. Bert Herbert and little man are friends. Little man walks around the body of Bert Herbert. Little man is funny as hell. <laughs> Vivid imagination. He's got an imaginary friend. That's kind of cute. Like, I want to take this away from him. Pumpkin pie. Lovely. Bert Herbert loves it, and so does Little Man. Little Man eats too much pumpkin pie. Little Man vomits into the belly button of Bert Herbert. It doesn't matter. Bert Herbert wipes it off. Um. Projects himself? Yes, okay, I got it. I'm brilliant. Flesh factory. Bert Herbert works there. Poor animals. People eat them. Bert Herbert is sad for creature. Bert Herbert and little man only eat vegetables. Uh, I see. Mismatch. Mm, he works at the flesh factory, so he's really sad. I understand. Bert is not using the full potential of his brain. This has led to a lonely life as a factory robot. His shy spirit has created an invisible friend. A friend that keeps him company. A friend he cares for, but a false friend. That makes me really sad, actually. They called it a false friend. Alright, we're gonna help Bert Herbert. We gotta make sure we don't destroy his personality, because, like, I really like Bert Herbert, too. Bert Herbert is sick. I understand. It's alright, little man. Dr. Scanner will fix me. <sighs> alright. I shouldn't have treated him. I really shouldn't have treated him. Alright, so what three types do we have? We need this one. We do not need this one. Do we have... Yep, we need that one. And let's see. How much time we left? What else do we need? I wish I had drugs. Alright, I'm about to treat this dude so fast. Dude, I'm the best doctor around. I'm flying through this guy. No more pills, bro. You gotta take your pills. Bruce! What's up, baby? We're treating this guy. He's got an imaginary friend. He's a little bit insane. All right, take your pills, baby boy. Take your pills. I just 
he killed Bert Herbert. Oh, he's not dead. He's just resting. Thank God. Bruce, thanks for coming, man. Sorry you joined during such a stressful time. I accidentally almost killed one of my patients. Oh, God. I'm so glad he's not out all the way dead. Jesus, Louise. He's not dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. Oh, my God. We gotta be careful. I gotta be careful, man. These drugs is no joke. Oh, lordy, lordy, lord. Golly. Oh, man. Dude, I was about to get sued a wrongful termination that little man in his armpit was gonna sue this shit out. This morning, a strange unregistered man has been seen doing strange things near Big Vent. Look out for the strange man and be careful. He's very, very strange. Okay, can we... Alright, Bert. I promise you we're gonna take better care of you today, buddy. Little man agrees. Yeah, Bert Herbert, it is a little... It is a lovely day. Little man's right. Wait, what? I didn't mean to stop. Yeah, dude, now let's treat him. Alright, uh, so let's see. What's the first one we got? We're gonna go ahead and look in his eyes. Why can I not? I'm very confused. What? Why? Dude, let me do something! It's... Let me treat you, Bert Herbert. Is the game glitched or am I just stupid? I'm so confused. Are you guys seeing this? Like it's... Alright, maybe... Alright, Bert Herbert, you gotta chill here, dude. Let's talk to this guy. Let's talk to this guy. Let's see what Raymond Brittles do. Wow, fellow mind scanner? Let me shake your hand. Are you here to compare notes? Well, I can show you my methods if you want. What do you mean? You're not a mind scanner, bro. Raymond pulls out what appears to be a freely made mind scanner helmet and treatment device. Sparks fly from loose wiring as he switches it on. I keep a strict logbook. I leave nothing to chance, and I'm getting great results. My patients are reporting life changing effects. Unreal people? Oh yes, we're colleagues, you and I. My brother-in-law, Helmet, is a shopper in the boots. I had him cook me up some equipment. I'd say he got pretty close. I'd love to compare those, see what kind of hardware you're packing. Alright, let's... Let's see what this guy's up to. That's my old toy train. Even then I knew I wanted to be a strange conductor. The train ran, ran on Zignoka, but it had no protective casing. Ha! Huh? That was before all the safety regulations. Train enthusiast. It's a person, completely healthy person, nothing wrong with him whatsoever. His mind is clear of bad thoughts and it shows. What a chance. Mental health illness. Interest. Ticket machine by the door, people punching in all day. As long as you got a ticket, you can ride. The same goes for mind scanning. Yep, I'm okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. Riddle's unhealthy obsession with control has led him to perform unauthorized treatments in the Talents District with no regard for people's safety. Sorry, Raymond, you're a little insane, but the boy's got Scanomania 15 of it. Can't have it. Alright. Uh, wait a minute. I'm on your side. If you try to treat a healthy patient, it could have dangerous results. Sorry, buddy boy. See my patients? Oh, nice. No treatment needed, awaiting treatment. Oh, this is cool. Treatment devices. Oh, nice. Districts. So this whole thing's a structure. Where are the... Okay. Terminology. Pop. A thousand pop. Hmm, puck or smaller puck. Small coins used to buy food, drinks, etc. Okay. Alright. They are unwell and need in my tender loving care. 
But with that being said, it does look like it is 9, and I am going to call it here for tonight. Just a two-hour stream night. Uh, I don't want to don't want to drag them on too long, you know, you know. Uh, so we can chat for a few minutes before it ends. So how's uh how's everyone doing? Everyone have a fun time tonight? I know, I know I did. I really appreciate you all coming and hanging out with me. Um, I look forward to the next stream. Uh, as of right now, it's just gonna be T Coops Tuesdays. Uh, we might have more. Might have a surprise stream announcement at some point, if um, like. I don't know, maybe if I just have like a free day pop up and I feel like streaming, so we might have something like that happen. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you all being here, and I really look forward to the next one. Uh, we might play more Mind Scanners. We might switch it up and come back to Mind Scanners on a different date. Oh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Should we do more Mind Scanners next time, or should we try something new? Keep keep the uh, ball rolling. What do you... Spaghetti stream? I don't know about that, Satan. Spaghetti. Ba, ba, ba. Robotic stream win? Like me as a robot? Or Roblox? Roblox stream. That is actually something I've been thinking about. Uh, we're probably going to have to do a Roblox stream once my account gets unbanned for bullying uh, children. It's a sad thing when you get banned from a game that you've been playing since you were 12 just because you're now bullying 12 year olds i was bullied on that when i was a 12 year old and that's what made me love it so they're just destroying their fan base that's all it is roblox all right i'll think about a roblox stream i'll think about a roblox stream if i do roblox i might have to do something else because i don't know if i can find three hours of uh a roblox game um uh, we would definitely play natural disaster survival if I did the Roblox stream. Um, they really are banning the wrong people. Um, but yeah, I'll think about it. Uh, I might do like an hour of Roblox, then an hour of something else. Or maybe 30 minutes of Roblox even. Maybe No, we'll do an hour of Roblox. An hour of Roblox, then an hour of something else. Maybe like something like Penguin Heist or something. We'll do a Roblox Heist tonight. Uh, but anyway, I hope you all had a wonderful time here and I'm going to hit you with the new and improved stream and video. Thank you.